on the way to the trail to get back on the Smoky Mountain 1000. But this little town is so cute. There's nutcrackers over there. Little shops and bakeries. Stuff. Definitely something that we'll have to come back and explore then. South Carolina just a little bit. Here's the border. South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia's right here. So we'll be in Georgia here in a little while. Back in the forest.
we found this cool trail that was hoping to lead us into a little town, but they've got it blocked off where you can't keep going. So now we gotta go back down. We did go a little ways on it. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but he went down this rutted area. It looks better on the cam or on real life than in the camera, obviously. That's what he went through. <laughs> Hold on. just a little bit. Scratched up too bad. I guess I'm just following behind him. Because I can't find a place to get in the car. Maybe this is a good place. A big huge hole I gotta get in up here. This is what he went down. We had to bring that hitch thingy because we don't have the back seat because the dogs are back there. I'm trying not to get my shoes super dirty, but oh well.
straps in this one. our water so we're gonna go down to this little town and grab some waters and then hopefully come back and be able to get the campsite Found another campsite on this river. It's really quiet though, you can barely hear the water. A couple of pieces of trash, but not as bad as some. Here's another little campsite area. Gonna climb up here. Big open spot. That's pretty cool. You gotta go through a crazy trail to get to it. With a big hill and off camber, camber. This is a steep hill. I'm holding the phone straight. It was down there. <coughs> Another huge hill. This is where we're gonna camp. Unless somebody came down in here while we were gone. Cause it don't look like it. Alright, we'll come back to you when we figure out where we're gonna park and stuff. This is our packing situation. That was in there, this was in there. What a cool fan we got on Amazon. But uh, we're trying to keep everything packed with the bed cover closed in the bed. We might get those billy bars if you haven't seen those. It's like 
they install on here you can still use your bed cover and roll it up and roll it down with the billy bars they're like there's different heights but they're not like huge like the racks and you can put a rooftop tent there and there's also like bike racks and kayak rack accessories you can put on it Go back, go backwards. Turn, go back. There you go. Sometimes you just gotta back up a little bit and reach out. So when we were on that one trail, it looks like the tire might have barely rubbed right there a little bit on the fender when it was flexing. I don't really see any other marks. I don't think it ever rubbed the control arm or anything. I don't see any rub marks on this side on the fender. Got it a little bit dirtier today. Because these tires are a little bit wider than stock, they barely stick out of the fenders just a little bit more. Some more stuff splashes up. Not a lot, but more than stock with the 33s. Here's our spot. Here's our house tour. Our Here's our campsite tour. So this is where we're leaving the Jeep. This is our living room slash hangout dog area. And we have the campfire right there. And then we have this is where we're gonna put the tent off at. Yeah. And we have. Mommy's gonna cook over there so it don't get the smell all over the tent and stuff. AKA Sarah. We call each other mommy and daddy because that's what you called us growing up. Uh, this is the one left over from last time. There was but one with a pull tab, tab I think somewhere. It's in the other bag. And this is our little kitchen setup. Yep. And then this is our backyard. This is the kitchen window, the river. Yeah, the window. Definitely. Cooking. We had people floating down there on kayaks and tubes a minute ago. Pretty cool little spot. I might be nice and put it on GPS for you. You can get several vehicles in here, several tents. And there's even like another little area over there that you can set up another tent at. Yeah. But there's not a fire You ring. can park another people over there or go use the bathroom over there or whatever. You can bring your... RC toys, four wheel drive, drive around on the roots. Hazel's gonna eat hot dogs. With, she likes chili and cheese on it. And then after that, we're gonna switch it up and make our meal, which is steaks and veggies and stuff. You'll see later. Paisley wanted me to tell you she don't like steaks. I don't know anybody that don't like steak unless you're a vegetarian, but steaks are good. All right, there's our tent. I think we're gonna leave the rain fly off, which means it's fully open with, you know, screen. That's the way the door is. In case you don't know what the rain fly looks like on this, it's like a awning that you can close down. It's like a covered porch and stuff. Check out my other videos. Check out my solo camping video if you wanna see that. Pretty good sized tent. Hot dogs boiling. Chili's warm. I might eat some of that chili. Just, I'm starving, dude. About ready for these steaks. Mm -hmm. Probably need to start prepping. Put you some cheese on your hot dogs and some chili. <laughs> that... So the instructions said that this air mattress takes five to seven little Pumps. air thingies to fill it up, and this is seven. Hold on, let me. Let me show you how it works here. So you just open this and you like pull out it really, really fast and then you have to do this really quick. And it pumps the air in it. There's also a way that you can do it with an air thingy, but... An air pump, I think, you can hook to it. This is the old-fashioned way. It works, though. It just takes like 20 times, maybe. It's not too bad. I'm gonna go eat and take a break. Put some veggies. Some mushrooms. Mushrooms, peppers, can you get it out? 
You gonna dump the whole thing in there? Well, I'm trying not to. I was gonna try to dump the whole peppers in there, though. I mean, mushrooms. Well, you might as well just dump all of it. Here we go. Onions, peppers, mushrooms, a little bit of zucchini and squash, I guess. We got some asparagus, too, I guess we'll throw in there in a little bit. Some steaks. We got this little, um... kit from Walmart has a little cutting board some plastic silverware stuff this thing's like a wick it comes it extends out Had a little deep spoon I think it has like measuring things on it they come with these you can put like mustard and ketchup or something in there and these little pads uh, we put the knives in there it comes with these you can put salt and pepper and whatever we got some garlic powder and some paprika and some sauce from our butcher, Hamilton's. Pretty cool. Come with a spatula. Come with the tongs under here. Flip it over for the pepper. Unscrew it for the pepper. Wrong way in for the pepper. Oh, it comes out super fast. Don't watch out. Put them bad boys on there. I could have done with those two, maybe not the others, but we're starving and we were like, I don't know, like that. those first two look kind of small, so we just threw all four of them in there. Mm -hmm. Got that wet wood burning. It's smoking a lot since it's wet a little bit. Looks good to me. It's pretty yummy. I did put a little A1 on there. I know what y'all are saying, but where's it at? It fell off. <clears throat> it's... I do like some A1 sometimes. Is it pretty good? Yep. Got some pink in the middle? Mm, a little bit. Not as much as I It looks more pink on the camera, actually. Mm. It might have just barely overcooked the way she likes it. Go. We put out the other fire because the wood was too wet and it was just smoking. So now we're making a new one. I made it. That wet wood was just smoking like crazy, big time. So we're just going to make our own dry wood fire. I'm doing. Just leave that one out for a minute. There you go. That'll be all right. So pretty at the river. With the sun coming in. Right here at the campsite. 